Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is Dr. Paul once again. Thanks for taking some time this evening to visit our channel and watching this video. As always, we welcome to visit our website at uh, www.usmlevideos.net. That is www.usmlevideos.net, where we have posted hundreds of videos, literally, covering almost every topic. And uh, one of the most important aspect of this website is to help students who are taking USMLE to prepare better and to answer their questions well. So feel free to send topics and uh, we are here to discuss them. Today we are going to discuss adenosine. Adenosine is one of the most commonly used drugs, especially when you want to break supraventricular tachycardia. For example, a patient came to emergency room and you are the resident and you were called to see the patient. And the patient told you that she drank like a 12 pack beer last night and uh, she vomited so much and became short of breath and she was brought to the emergency room. You are the doctor and as you examining her suddenly you looked at the monitor and you see supraventricular tachycardia what are going to do the most commonly used drug in the in such a situation is adenosine a six milligrams iv if you give it to the patient it might break that supraventricular tachycardia and bring back the patient into normal sinus rhythm if it does not work, you can start the patient on a second dose of adenosine. So adenosine is a very, very important medication when we treat these supraventricular tachycardias. Today's video is mainly about the side effects of adenosine. You see, adenosine's half-life is very, very short, like 5 to 10 seconds, but it can cause um, unintended side effects but what you can do is to keep the medications that competitively antagonize the effects of adenosine the two most important uh, drugs in this case are caffeine and theophylline so you should keep caffeine and theophylline at the bedside and uh, treat the side effects of adenosine because these two drugs caffeine and theophylline they competitively antagonize the side effects of adenosine now what are the most common cardiovascular let us go by system by system first cardiovascular the most common cardiovascular side effects of adenosine are flushing that is facial flushing 18 percent develop it then chest pain palpitations and uh, hypotension so flushing chest pain, palpitations, and hypotension. Those, those, are, those are the most common cardiovascular side effects. And the other side effect is AV block. You remember the primary mechanism of adenosine. How does it act? It acts through blocking atrioventricular node. So right there you can, you can actually imagine a side effect, blocking of AV node. What happens when AV node is blocked? Patient might develop a first degree or second degree or third degree AV block. So first, second and third degree AV blocks is another common cardiovascular, cardiovascular side effect of adenosine. These uh, uh, effects are very common in patients who are more than 75 years age and you don't have to discontinue the medication because of uh, these side effects because they are short-lived. The other side effects in cardiac system are atrial fibrillation. Some pa patients develop atrial fibrillation after you start them on adenosine. Some people develop even ventricular arrhythmias and uh, premature ventricular beats and non-sustained ventricular tachycardia and even torsade point is a yeah, polymorphic ventricular tachycardia. That's why patients who have a long QTC interval, you should observe for carefully, I mean, uh, for these ventricular tachycardias 
whenever you are using adenosine in these patients. And the other side effect is ventricular fibrillation. This is uh, rare. I mean, when the patient has myocardial infarction, for example, the patient already has a hypercatecholamine state and adenosine, it increases sympathetic tone. And as it increases the sympathetic tone in a patient with myocardial infarction, it increases the risk for atrial fibrillation. So once the patient develops atrial fibrillation, that might end up in ultimately in uh, ventricular fibrillation and uh, that could be deadly. That's why, I mean, when a patient has recent myocardial infarction, you should be very, very careful with using adenosine. Now, a few words about using uh, adenosine in patients with uh, Wolf-Parkinson-White syndrome. In Wolf-Parkinson-White syndrome, adenosine use should be done with caution because, again, as in myocardial infarction, adenosine can precipitate ventricular fibrillation in these patients. And now, so we have seen cardiac side effects. Now, respiratory side effects. Respiratory side effects, dyspnea, then chest pressure, hyperventilation, and uh, head pressure. But dyspnea in uh, dyspnea caused by adenosine is not due to bronchospasm. That's why even in a patient with uh, a lung disease like uh, COPD, you should not stop adenosine because they have dyspnea because that dyspnea is not due to bronchospasm. And finally, a few words about central nervous system side effects. The most commonly caused central nervous side effects are dizziness, numbness, and um, burning sensation, heaviness in arm, and blurring vision. So those are the three important categories you need to remember. Cardiac, especially facial flushing, hypotension, and uh, atrial fibrillation, AV block, ventricular fibrillation. Those are the most common cardiac side effects. Then respiratory, dyspnea, chest pressure, hyperventilation, head pressure. Those are the most important respiratory side effects. And finally, uh, nervous side effects like uh, numbness, dizziness, tingling, and uh, blurry vision. Those, so, so those are the major side effects of adenosine. So I hope this helps. And uh, if you have any questions, please feel free to uh, send me a mail. And uh, as always, you can uh, explore more videos in cardiology for USMLE exams on my video uh, sorry, on my website at www.usmlevideos.net and we have posted hundreds of videos ranging all kinds of uh, subjects. So, adenosine is uh, one of the most commonly tested drugs in the United States medical licensing examination. So, be top of everything when it comes to adenosine. Where is it used and what are its main indications? What is the mechanism of its action? What are its main side effects? What are its main contraindications? So those are clearly discussed in my other videos as we have posted on uh, www.usmlevideos.net and uh, feel free to visit our website and uh, explore those videos. And uh, uh, always you can send me an email if you have any difficult topic to be that needs to be discussed. That's about it for tonight, and uh, this is Dr. K.G. Paul, and have a good night.